Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're bringing a return of the How to Counter the Meta series. Everyone was suggesting this uh, yesterday when I posted my video and I'll bring it back to you guys today. So we're going to be doing How to Counter Byron. Byron, obviously one of the best brawlers in the game, if not the best brawler in the game. He's so, so good right now. And to be honest, he doesn't have a lot of counters, but hopefully in this video, I'll teach you guys how to uh, play against him pretty well, how to counter him effectively on certain maps. Obviously, with all of these videos, there's a lot of different scenarios I can't really replicate. It will take so much time, and especially there's so many different maps as well. It can be really map-specific, really mode-specific, but hopefully these generic tips will be, uh, help you to counter Baron. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, so jumping into the hardest counter, in my opinion, it's going to be Jesse. So Jesse recently into the meta and obviously she's like the second best or third best brawler in the game right now uh, but the main reason for this of why she's so good against Byron is because you can uh, basically free tap him which is super crucial to taking him down especially you've got the range as well and once you get into auto aim range it's going to be even better but turret as well uh, with the star power energized you can keep alive for so long uh, making it so Byron has to waste a lot of shots to take that down so jesse is definitely a good brawler in the meta to counter Byron with especially when you get the turret i'll uh, show you when i get it uh when you get the turret you can just throw it on him and freeze him so i'm just going to do that there to try and secure the kill he obviously doesn't have a lot of DPS up close and I'm able to take him down there. Probably going to go down there. And also, a lot of Byron comps have a lot of like tanks in it and have a lot of uh, higher um, health brawlers. Even brawlers like Nita, Sandy, BB, etc, etc. Jess is going to be helping to take those brawlers out as well because she has one of the most uh, best damages in the game. And the fact that her uh, bullets obviously ricochet off each enemy helps people not clumping up and a decent counter to Byron. So again, we're going to use our gadget. They're probably going to get taken down, but you can already see as well, especially in close uh, proximity as well. You're going to be able to get three auto aim shots on the Byron like straight away and be able to take him down a lot of times. A lot of times in scrims, we use uh, Jesse to counter Byron, uh, but most of the time Byron is basically banned in scrims because uh, he's so, he actually is so hard to counter. Most of the time, you have to just use a Byron to counter him. I'm not going to include that in this video a lot sometimes in my other uh, series i've just said you got to use the brawler i mean in this aspect you kind of have to in some ways but i'll be trying to stay away from that as uh, much, uh, much as possible also you got to be careful of uh the pierce and star power of bar and it can be really deadly especially when you place your turret so make sure you're not always standing right uh, directly behind your turret and then you should be okay i'm close to the turret again though uh, gotta be careful here. Everyone's getting melted. We're gonna throw our turret on the Byron. He's gonna have to waste a lot of ammo to take that down. And he's basically one shot there, uh, which is really good. But obviously, as well, it's gotta be really map specific. Byron isn't good on every single map. Uh, you gotta bear that in mind as well. Maps like Triple Dribble are gonna be like a Jesse he Heaven, and Byron's just not playable there. That's one of the main uh, reasons why, as well, when we was pushing. Uh, roughs. We weren't using Byron even though it's the best brawler in the game because there's just so much Jesse about. Byron can't really do too much against a Jesse with so much damage. It's Amber as well has been extremely annoying. I'm close to my super bow. Hopefully we can win this game in the end. Okay. Also I've got my super. I've got to be careful of this Amber getting in range. So it's super obnoxious uh, Amber in this meta. Gotta be able Try and take her down. Okay, one shot. Nice. We do manage to take that down. I've got to be careful though. Byron's range is absolutely insane. It's basically going to outrange anyone. As I said, you've got to play towards the walls as well. I know he has a super that he can throw the walls, but he's going to outrange near enough everyone in the game. So you definitely can't play the range game with him. It's going to keep healing this. I doubt we're going to be able to score. But yeah, Jesse going to be one of the best counters to Byron. Obviously, how to counter the meta. You've got to use meta in a lot of the cases. Unfortunately, let's see if, oh, if I was close to that super there. We can still make a goal happen. Oh, I know he blocked my shot. So I'll probably go in. in. But Jesse's going to be the hardest counter. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys. Jumping into the next brawler, which I believe is a really good counter to Byron. It's going to be Sandy. So obviously, Sandy in the open isn't going to be a good uh, brawler against him. But it's just the fact once you get that Sandy Super out. And with the recent buff, you're going to be getting a lot of Sandy Supers to be able to take him down. So the best tip about this is obviously the Sandy Super pushes him all the way back. And Byron doesn't do well really up close when a Brawler uh, is right up into his face. He's not going to have the DPS to take him down immediately. He's more of a long term or like three seconds. That's how long it takes to 
take all of his damage. So Sandy's going to be able to get more shots on me. But also, I use the healing sands as well. I'm going to have to use a gadget here to stay alive. But healing sands on a mass like this, you don't really need to scout the grass. But as you can see, I could just push up to him and free shot him as well. And if I keep the cycle going really well, we can just keep a Byron back by ourselves just by pure uh, presence. They don't really know that I'm uh, where I am in the Sandy Super. So always trying to be sneaky is really good. As you can see, these two Sandy Supers has basically pushed Byron back into spawn. And I could just go up to him and shoot him down so easily. That should be a goal. Right there, let's see if we can get a Sandy down. Nice pass over. That's going to be pretty easy. So again, another meta brawler. Uh, but to be honest, it's not like Sandy is like crazy overpowered. It's just it's just his super. That's the main thing about it. You've got to remember that most of the time, especially even if you use damage on really grassy maps, you can just throw that super into his face and he's going to be forced to uh, go back because he can't regen. But that should be another easy goal for us. But Sandy, a really good pick against Byron. As I said, use that super, get up close and basically free tap him. It's going to be pretty simple. Let's hop into the next game. All right, guys, hopping into the next brawler, which I believe is a really good counter to Byron. is going to be Pam. So Pam uh, is really good, mainly due to obviously her healing mechanics. Uh, just like Crow in that aspect, Pam is a really good counter to Crow because you can cancel out the poisons with the uh, poisons with the healing. And then the same aspect with uh, Pam against Byron, you can use the turret to basically heal you up the amount of damage that Byron does. Obviously, Pam doesn't have the exact range as Byron, but once you get that turret in a good position, you can just keep healing yourself over and over again. It's going to be really hard for a Byron to take you down. So you can see I'm working towards my turret here. Nearly uh, got it. So once I get the turret, I'll place it behind a wall. And we should be able to at least contest with Byron as long as we have our gadgets near enough all the time. I'm going to get power up as well from Ruff, uh, which can be really good. We're getting an extra 1k HP. You see 436 damage as well. Pam's damage is really good. It's going to take a while for Byron to take me down because of how much HP I actually have as well. But obviously with Pam, she's a brawler that only succeeds on a very few, well, not a few select maps, but... Not every single map, but she's really map and mode specific. So I've got to bear that in mind. I'm going to use Gadget here to stay alive. And then as well, I should have more HP on my turret as well. Let's so get this. So let's uh, run back here. We should be doing pretty decent. You can see how much HP I've got with this rough um, power up here. So insane. But Pam going to be really good. I didn't get to show too many interactions there, but you can just see by how tanky she is. Just takes Baron a long time to take her down. Pam secretly does a lot of damage at long range and that turret, when you're staying inside of it, can just really help counter Byron's healing. Uh, well, the healing that damage actually, but that's going to be another brawler. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, going into the next brawler and surprise, surprise, it's another top six brawler. But unfortunately, because of how OP Byron is, you kind of have to uh, bring out uh, the really hard counters. So Sprout. You guys should know Sprout free shots Byron. So another crucial factor. And a lot of his how to counter series, especially when brawlers are quite squishy. You've got to bring out the brawlers that basically free shot them. That's going to be like the most important factor. Especially now that Sprout deals additional damage as well. He's going to be even more OP. And the tanks that used to really be uh, amazing against Sprout aren't going to be as good. So I'm going to have to use a wall to block out the Rosa here. And also, if I'm using... I probably used the wrong gadget in this sense, but you can use Sprout's healing gadget to uh, make sure you're healing the, sh uh, the damage that you do. Uh, well, if you're being dealt by Byron, it can be really good. Uh, but a lot of times, you can just juke up to a Byron and free shot him a lot of times. Again, I could just use this wall to keep him out of the mid and then just basically proceed to bully him. It's going to be really hard for Jesse to deal with a Rosa uh, down that lane. So I think I'm just going to use a wall to block up a little bit of it. Rose is actually a really hard matchup and really well synergized with Byron, so it's going to be really hard for us to deal with it. Oh, they've got the damage star power as well. We're just going to throw that into mid. Yeah, we're going to get pushed all the way back here. Okay, Rose is pretty low, though. Should be right. Let's wait for the Sunday Super to go. I've got no more uh, gadgets to use, unfortunately. So, I mean, I've at least bought a lot of time, but it's Rosa causing so much pressure. But, yeah, <laughs> I would have been absolutely handling that. Byron, but unfortunately, Rose has been in my face the entire time. Okay, we can use our gadget here. Okay, Rose is going to be pretty weak here. Come on, come on. I'm going to slowly take her down. <laughs> Look how long it's taking me to take Rosa down. If I was to focus on the Byron, though, let's go focus on him. We should be able to get him down pretty easily. There we go. One more uh, gem to go. So let's just block it off that way. It should be pretty easy from here. 
No idea where Rosa is. Okay, Rosa's really close. Look out. Look how much HP she's got, especially with Byron's healing. That's why I was saying most of the time you have to just bring out Byron because him alone just spamming the heals on Rosa is making it really hard to actually do something. Rosa's pretty weak here, but she'll be able to take her down. Hopefully, let's see here. Okay, we can just throw the wall onto Byron, get him out of there. Not too sure where Sandy actually is. Okay. As long as we make a dash for it here, at least oh Jesse should be able to pick up the majority of the gems here. Hopefully, come on, you know you want to kill out Rosa. You know you want to kill out Rosa. Come on. How's the Rosa got out of there with the gems? I mean, we can reset it if our teammates are clever enough. We can come back and reset the countdown, but there's no way we're going to take down the Rosa, especially with Super here. Actually, we are. We are going to take that Rosa down. Okay, I don't think we're going to get out of there though. We're not going to get out of it. This is an absolutely crazy gem grab game. There's no way we're going to be able to get out of there. With all of those gems and this Rosa super pushing us back. I'm going to throw um, my super there. Micah's one with the gems. Let's slowly take Micah down here. Okay, this is an absolute crazy game. No more gems are going to actually spawn here. We're actually going to reach the timer of this game. We're going to somehow reach the timer of this game. Okay, second man's got all the gems. If we get back, we should be able to win this. Hey, come on. Um, these people will pick them up. <laughs> We're actually gonna, I've never actually reached the uh, end timer of uh, gem grab here, but we are about to reach the final five seconds and somehow clutching up. Most of the time, I was spent shooting that, shooting that Rosa, but you can just see a lot of times, as soon as Byron came into the picture, I could just push him back immediately with Sprout. He's probably the biggest hard counter to... Uh, Byron by far. Let's hop into one final counter. Alright guys, going into the final brawler, which I believe counters Byron. Basically, at range, it's going to be Nanny. So, as I was saying, Byron, one of the longest ranges in the game. Uh, but Nanny does outrange Byron. So, really good counter, especially on these long-range maps like Backyard Bowl. And also, Nanny's super when you're using the, I think it's the autofocus star power. You're going to be able to one-shot Byron basically all the time. I'm going to miss that super there, unfortunately. But we can just go for the Pamir basically. One shot her, but 5k damage is more than enough damage to one shot uh, Byron. And a lot of times in scrims, Nanny has just been a really good counter to the Byron in the mid. Uh, obviously, always uh, Byron can still get in range. It's got the range, same range as Piper and B, I believe. Um, but just like in general games, when Nanny, well, well, when B and Piper are really prevalent, Nanny is prevalent to counter those brawlers. So just like that, Nanny's going to be brought out against him. I hope take his B down. Take this pam to it down as well. And we're going to use Nanny Super to try and one shot Byron again. Byron's going to walk up the map and see you later, buddy. You're going to get one shot straight away. <laughs> and you could just see how well it counters on the long range maps. And as long as you've got other decent brothers in your comp, you should be doing good against him. You just got to hit your shots consistently again. At range, I can just absolutely melt him. The good thing about him, though, that gadget is so OP as well. We should probably be able to score this. Okay, no, that was a bit. Uh, that was a bit too aggro for me. I was close to Super. I was hoping for like a trick shot play there. I'm just here. I think, base, I think I've killed the Baron three times, two times with Super. Uh, which you can just uh, see how good it is. We're getting pushed back. Boy, back your balls are really hard. Once you lose pressure, most of the time I don't tend to make those aggro plays because once you die once, it can be really hard uh, to regain it. So Nanny and 8-bit combination is really good as well. I can basically one-shot anyone in the game with this combination, which is pretty epic. Gotta be careful, this Byron was super low. He's gonna be really good with that damage across the wall. I'm gonna heal up here, else I'm gonna get one shot by the super. Let's just wait here. Okay, I've got super now. I'm gonna use it to get that B down. Look at them big brain st strategies right there. Standing behind the wall, too close. We can take him down and then a Byron down there as well. One one shot. I need to actually heal up. Oh, that was so close to him managing to break out. I'm close to Super. I can make a cool play. Right here. I mean, this, this last one minute, we've just been cornered all the way back. Okay. He's got a 3k shot. I've got to be really careful of that. He's got his Super. He's probably going to go ahead and score this. Yep. But you guys saw already how good Nanny was right there. So that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. These are going to be the brawlers that I believe do best against Byron. It's really hard to actually counter him. Most of the time, you're not going to be able to counter him, but these are the brawlers I've had the most success with. So that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.